What's happening? It's Shane here. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about some breaking news. And that is that the pandemic might have actually halted the ridiculous rising cost of college. Now, this is based off of a report by College Board. And I first read it on an article by CNBC Make It. But before we get into that, make sure to gently tap the like button, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video. Now, one thing to note here before this article came out at the beginning of the pandemic, colleges were criticized because some of them actually raised their prices even though all classes were moved online. Now this makes a lot of sense for them to be criticized because obviously if classes are moved online, that means for one, the cost of the college itself is going to go down. You know what, that is a very, very good point. <laughs> Right, so obviously it's not going to cost nearly as much money to host classes online versus hosting them in buildings. When you host classes in buildings, you have to have people that clean the bathrooms, you have to have people that feed the students, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The list just goes on and on. And on top of that, the student experience was also diminished, right? So the experience that you get when you have in-person classes is not going to be the same experience as you get online. This is why most students actually prefer in-person classes. Just to mention a few things, it's less easy for you to meet new people. That's part of the college experience, meeting college friends. It's less easy for you to network. It's also a lot harder for you to pay attention and maintain the motivation to get all of your work done. One thing that I've noticed in my life is it's very difficult for me, uh, for instance, to study while I'm at home. It's even more difficult if I try to study in my bedroom because you know that's the place where I sleep. And so I instantly get tired when I try to study. And there really is something to be said for, you know, going to the places to do certain things, right? So usually in college when I was studying, I would either go to a coffee shop or the library. And same thing with online classes. It's a lot harder for me to pay attention if I'm at home. And so if the campus is closed and all of the classes are online, you simply are not getting most of the benefits that you would have gotten if you actually attended a normal brick and mortar university. And so therefore, the price should be reduced as well. That's basically their thinking. And I have to say that I agree with that. Yeah, yeah, me too. However, College Board just recently released a report that showed that the price increase of college has actually slowed down significantly since the beginning of the pandemic. Now, tuition has historically risen about 3% per year, and this last year, tuition only rose at state or public universities by 1.1% and at private universities by about 2.1%. That's the lowest increase in 30 years, but it's still increased, right? So I guess you could say this is a small victory, so tuition didn't rise as much as it used to, but it still rose. Whereas in my opinion and the opinion of many people out there, they should at the very least freeze tuition, right? So make it to where it doesn't increase. And this is exactly what several universities have done, such as the University of Michigan, as well as Duke. Now, as more and more college start to go back to in-person learning and they're starting to open up their campuses, you know, it would make a little more sense for it to go back to normal. Now, I did a poll on my YouTube channel where I asked uh, what type of classes people prefer. Do you prefer online or in-person? And keep in mind, my YouTube channel is overwhelmingly introverted, right? So I did another poll on it where I asked people whether they're introverted or extroverted. And 50% of people said they were introverted, 34% said that they were both, and 7% said that they were extroverted, right? So keep that in mind, most of the people People on my channel are either introverted or they're kind of like both ambivert or they don't know, right? Only 7% of people who watch this channel are extroverted. And yet, 78% of people who responded to the poll said that they would rather attend classes in person. And I'll go ahead and read off a comment that I thought was very insightful from somebody who's actually currently taking classes that was on that poll. Smoke Bond says, hybrid, but maybe more on the in-person side. I like in-person classes because you feel more motivated at school or college. You get to talk with your peers and teachers and you understand it better when the teacher is explaining on the board in front of you. However, I like online classes for flexibility, including time management and not having to travel back and forth between school and home. So basically this person was suggesting kind of a hybrid model where you take some of your classes online, but most of your classes in person. And that way you get kind of a good mix and match of both. So I think moving forward, 
that would be a great idea for colleges to offer those types of options to students. You know, maybe you can take some of your classes online and some of your classes in person. And this is especially true if they are going to continue raising their costs. So the answer to the question, did the pandemic halt the rising cost of college? At least in the short term, yes, it did. It did halt it a small amount, about two, maybe one and a half percent. But in the long run, we don't know. It could be that instead of the normal 3%, next year colleges decide to raise it by 4.5% just to catch up with what they lost out on the year before. I think the opinion of a lot of people is they probably should have reduced the prices if they were going to have it to where students weren't getting the full benefit of attending college. But at the very least, you do have to give props to the colleges that froze the prices. All I can say is kind of just like on a one-on-one -on -one uh, sort of level, just being a decent human being. Let's say I was somebody who was teaching like an in-person class and somebody de made a deposit for, let's say it was like a thousand dollar class and somebody made a deposit to me. And then the pandemic happened and all of a sudden we couldn't do the class in person anymore, but I still was able to do it online over Zoom or something like that. I would feel obligated to give everyone who signed up, everyone who made the deposit a discount because it's just not the same thing as being there in person. But that's just me. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. If you haven't done it already, check out my other videos right here, I made them just for you. Go ahead, gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video, and I will see you next time.